There's no excitement in Christian Malone's voice when he talks about the two leading 2024 presidential candidates. As the country approaches repeat of the last race between Democrat Joe Biden and Republican Donald Trump, Malone was enjoying a sunny day with his family near Fountain in Maple Grove. Although 30-year-old man said that he was not a big fan of Trump, he voted for the Republican Party for last time. Relaxing in the summer heat last month, Malone shared that he doesn't have much confidence in Biden and called Trump's character terrible. I definitely don't think he'll ever think about Trump again, said Malone, who lives in Coon Rapids, and not Biden. The lack of enthusiasm for two major parties' leading presidential candidates is part of argument. Representative from Minnesota's suburban 3rd Congressional District has made over summer as he takes a lone stand in American politics. Democratic U.S. Rep. Dean Phillips broke with his party and called for Biden to pass the torch while sharing fears that Democrats are sleepwalking into a repeat of 2016 when Trump won the White House in a stunning defeat to Democrat Hillary Clinton. I think 3rd District is overrepresentative of the majority of country. So don't want Donald Trump to be president. We wish there were alternatives to Joe Biden because have concerns about him, Phillips said. Phillips has tried encourage more established Democrats to join race against 80-year-old Biden and has even floated possibility of running himself. But likelihood of that appears have diminished. Author Marianne Williamson and anti-vaccine voice Robert F. Kennedy Jr. began running against Biden in Democratic primary earlier this year. But neither prospect represents the serious alternative Phillips wants to see in race. After weeks of explaining his opinion to the nation, Phillips' words do not appear to have had a noticeable impact on the possibility of a rematch in 2020. Although Trump has been indicted this year on multiple criminal charges, including a failed attempt to overturn 2020 presidential election, 77-year-old remains a leader on GOP side even as younger rivals try to keep him from becoming parties. Nominee. Applicant. I am not happy with the direction of the country, said Linda Matson of Coon Rapids, who watches over nursery children at Andrews Park in Champlin. As this progresses, Democratic leaders are backing Biden, the oldest president in U.S. history, while Phillips questioned Biden's decision to run for a second term. He sought to restart a conversation that dominated the 2020 Democratic primary race about who could beat Trump. Even for some Minnesotans who like Phillips, the president remains the tried and tested option. Biden is the best person to beat Trump said Democrat Linda Wold, 75, of Maple Grove, a retired family law attorney who called 2024 a Doherty election and expressed excitement for the current president. Still, some echo Phillips' sense of alarm. Democ.